hello dear friend welcome again in this second video i will show you the, the detail you need to set up to use properly the astrometrica software and uh, in the second part of the video we will see together we will go through the quick the start git document and uh, you will see the property of the uh, asteroid you need to to set as new discovery so get let be connected and uh, let's start together so if you install the astrometrica software what i recommend you is to create or is to have a shortcut on your on your welcome on your desktop so if you have a shortcut here just click in to launch the astrometrica software so if you launch it you will see a prompt boss or something like that which will indicate that uh, could not resolve minor planet center dot net and uh, here astrometrica mpc web dot dat dot gz no search file or directory so this is, this is an error message which come with uh, the astrometrica software so if you al you already install the software properly install it and use it at the launch at when you launch the software you will see this bar loading but if you are you install it for the first time and you not properly set all the detail particularly mpc orb dot gat file you will not have these these bar at the launching so what you need to do is to set this file on the astrometrica software directory on your desktop so let's see it together the file you need to set up for the astrometrica software is uh, mpcorb.dat.gz so when you automatic launch automatically launch the astrometrica software by by clicking on the shortcut on your desktop if you you are connected with internet the download will automatically start and uh, it will take time to process after this you will see a a message that which indicate that the download was complete successfully but in certain case when you even you are connected with internet the download take a lot of time to process so it will be boring to waiting for this download before start the, the software and uh, use it so for this in this case i have a solution for you so which is to download this file mpcorb.dat.gz file it, which is a zip file so i will put the link to download this this file on the description and of this video it will be the first link so click on the link download this file and if you download it just the thing you need to do is to unzip this file after unzip him you will see a corresponding file which will be named mpc or lb.gat so it after unzip and this file you will have something like that so what you need to do now is to is to copy this file is to copy this file mpc or lb.gat to the repository of astrometrical software so in the folder where you install the astrometrical software you need to copy this file in this in the in this folder so i would i strongly recommend you to install the astrometrical software in your in your cd drive so if you don't do, do not you do not do, do it please proceed do it so you you need to copy this file just copy it and uh, paste it in the astrometrica repository but after copy this you need to change the file name so you need to rename it so why rename it you you just need to to change the five less these five letter from capital letter to from capital letter to small letter so let's do it together just change the five last letter r l b dot d a t from capital to small letter so you just to need to put l b and delete the capital one 
DAT and click on enter so just you you proceed it now after do doing this you need to copy this file and paste in so here is the is the repository of all elements all component elements of astrometrica software so on the repository file of where you install the astrometrica software you will see free folder here catalog data setting and all component file here so on these from these free folder just click on catalogs so, so on in catalogs just here what you need to do is to copy the, the file mpc olb.dat here so as you can see here i already do it here mpc so if you do not do do it please copy and paste it in the catalog folder on the astrometrica repository so after doing this now you have the mpc oib dot that database mpc OIB database file correctly installed in your astrometrica software so you will see here the loading bar properly load after properly uh, install mpc oib database file on the astrometrica software directory so if you open the astrometrica software at or uh, after your first for your first using you will see here on the right corner here just here fps.cfj so this file this is not here because i already use the astrometrica software but on your side you will see something like that so this is not the, cor the current file who need to appear here so what you need now you need to do now is to install the correct file here which is ps one.cfj this file is a configuration file when you you need to install it to update your your analyze of any uh, image sets isaac will provide to you so to crop to properly install up these or set this configuration file i will help you this is so this is the configuration file here ps1 configuration file dot zip so this is a zip file just he just wait to kilo update so here kilobytes and uh, what you need to do is to unzip this file if you unzip him you will see a folder named ps1 configuration file so click on the file you will find another file just click in and uh, this is the a file ps1.cfj so it is a configuration file you just see here ps1.cfj so now what you need to do to make it appear on the astrometrica software if you copy this file now just go on astrometrica repository or directory as we do lastly so on the astrometrica repository file go now to setting folder here it is the, the third folder on the on this repository just click and setting and if you click you are in setting folder just paste the ps1.cfj file you just uh, you just unzip and copy just paste here in the setting folder on astrometrica repository so you as you will see here it is it is ps1.configuration file i already installed a paste him on the astrometrica setting file so after doing this just now you need what you need now to it to re to close and open again the astrometrica file so if you do it you will see here ps1.cfj file appear on your astrometrica so after this done congratulations you already set up all file all detail you need to have your astrometrica software completely inst completely installed and uh, ready to use now we will go through the second part of this video as i say at the beginning we will see together the all quick start guide document and really together we explain you some detail about the using of astrometrica software the image astronomic image to analyze how to analyze them the classic of detection you need to 
to report as a detection and uh, lastly we will see we will briefly see how to submit the report and uh, after this in the third video coming we will see these all these detail what we will talk about here in uh, with practice of analyzing a current image set together so let's get start here on the start gate quick, quick start gate file you unzip you will see four document just you just click on the using instruction for using astrometrica so here now so you have a key of your citizen scientists in the search for asteroids and uh as I say at the beginning of this series of video, you will be able to use Astrometrica to, con to conduct a manual search, be able to distinguish between true and false signature for movie object. So you will see a lot of objects. So you need to learn or uh, to know properly the characteristics or properties of what you need to report as a true signature for moving object. So once you have Astrometrica up and running on your computer, it will take a couple hours of your team to master the above task. So you need no, you, you do not need to work day after day on the Astrometrica software before mastering. You just need to analyze one, five, three uh, image set to master how to use this Astrometrica, how to analyze properly the image set and uh, make a proper report in coordination with all your team members so don't worry this is not a difficult step it is the most interesting one and we will see it uh, together so if in this document you will find instruction on how to do a manual search using astrometrica you will learn how to measure true signature and determine if there are a known object to learn how to distinguish between a true and false signature for a moving object you need to review the document untitled signature get yeah we will show it after this document there's a very important measuring and reporting false signature in the most common mistake made by citizen scientists as their first learn for at the first learn to search for asteroids so this signature get document will teach you will learn you the difference of the difference of character between true and false signature so this will help you avoid to report false signature as a true signature and uh, so for manual search you need to must to know to understand what are the the button which appear on the astrometrica software is used for so as you see here file astrometry internet windows hub here so if you install the astrometrica software for the first time you will not see this image but if you already install this document and use it for the first time you will see a prompt box which appear and uh, ask that uh, there is a ancient uh, mpc report in the software do you need to save or delete this report so if you already copy the report and send it just click on yes if not just click on no so here you already know how to to set up ps1.tfj configuration file here so data reduction known object overlay and this this manual measurement is doing automatically when you already load an image in the astrometrica software so do not worry at all we will see it in practice with with an when i will start analyzing an image set and you will see all about these uh these manual measurement uh, object designation so on and so forth so the another thing is minor planet center report so minor planet center is the catalog who reference all the near earth objects all the big asteroids as in one catalog so this catalog is called minor planet center so after analyzing each image set you need to uh, create but this will not be the case because the astrometrica software will automatically create a minor planet center report for you so if after analyzing an image set what you need to do now is to copy this a mpc report or minor planets reports and uh, send it to isaac through the website so it is uh, in the chat of team leader to do it so but if you are 
in certain case you can modify these reports we will see it together here just click in button on so here mpc report for an image set with no moving object so as i uh, as i said a few seconds ago in certain case you are able you are, you are allowed to modify the, uh, the mpc report but initially if you detect an object this report is uh, unmodifiable there you are not allowed to modify this but if you have no moving object you can modify this and and add this a phrase on this sentence on your report and send it but so don't worry what we will see it together so the second file is uh the most important it is the signature gate so this this document will take you through how to distinguish true and false signature so introduction uh for an object to be accepted as a true signature the, the object has the object has three characteristics the first one move along a straight line so if you see that you you are seeing an object on your image in the astrometrical software before already think about this object as a true signature just analyzing the the movement of this object so you need to ask you a question is this object moving a, along a straight line so if you if it is not the case do not think about to report this object as true signature so to add uh, to see if the object is moved as a straight line you can use a rule from and pause and put it on through your screen your desktop screen from image one to image four to see if the object have a straight line uh cross or uh, movements and if it's not the case it's not a true signature the second thing is uh as the object move a uh, at a constant speed so this is about the the displacement of the moving of the object so you can you cannot see an object on image he one here and appear directly on image two here this is not a constant speed so for a constant speed the, dip, the the moving from step one to step two from step two to step three etc will be a uh, equally the same so it will be a, at constant speed so the, the difference of distance between the moving of object between step one to step two will not we do not need to be a great one so if the, if it is the case please do not report this object as a true signature and uh, the third characteristic the third primary characteristic to report or uh, to make an object accept as a true signature is the magnitude of the object so the magnitude of the objects you detect need to be fairly constant to set this object as a true signature if it is not the case please do not report the object as true signature so about the magnitude you need to do some some calculation to see if the magnitude is constant so we will see this together do not worry and the following video we will ana we will analyze together an image set with astrometrical software so a simple test for your citizen instance is to use is you is to place the edge of a ruler along the path to the moving object to check if the motion is along a straight line so as i say for the first color system moves along a straight line so if not then object is a false yet and you should not be measured including the mpc reports so this the second thing is uh example of examples of false signature so there is a lot of false signature in every uh each image that you will have to analyze for your asteroid research campaign so you need to properly know what is what is the characteristic or what are the characteristics of for signature in order to avoid to report and analyze them and include them in your mpc report so here you are you can see here a, a dashboard of an object here we, you after click on object with a uh, when analyzing you can see here this dashboard you don't know what we will see it in a video so this object is rejected because the white line the white dot are squatted away from the red lines so what this is about just see here on the dashboard you will see two red line the first one here and uh, the 
second which is a straight line on the first red line you will see a lot of white dots here so these white dots in the case of false signature need to be squatter of on the red line if they are squatted away of of the, the red line you you do not you should not report this object as a false signature so you can see here the, the white dot are squatted away from the red line so on this second case here you can see on the first red line there are a lot of there is a lot of white dot who scratch who has scattered away of the line in the first in the all two cases so it is also here you can see but in certain case you will see so here and the, the second characteristic you need to to analyze when on the image on object dashboard when you click it i as, as i already said the first is the if white dot are scattered from the red line and the second now is the the value of the snr here you can see the snr here snr is dot three dot three here so this object is also reject because the snr is less than five so after i have after you analyze the three primary characteristics of an object and uh, if there are there are fits to be these objects are these characteristics are fit to designate the object as true signature now just click on object you will analyze the, the dashboard on the dashboard on this object the all characteristics about this object first is if the white dots are scattery of from away from the red line and the second is the value of snr so if the snr value is less than five please just know that do not think a lot about it you just need to know that this object is a false signature so do not report him or uh, analyze this image as a true signature so you can see here as snr value is a uh, three three dot three here and uh, here the same and here snr value is a uh, three dot two so as here two you can see the white dots quarter away from the two red line here and uh, the third category of characteristic you need to to analyze or to have right before this uh, set an object as a true signature is the value of my magnitude as i say uh, as i said at the beginning as right on the beginning of this video of this uh, as i write of so the the magnitude should be should be constant so if you remember just we 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 say that there is a free primary currency for an object to be a true signature move is a long straight line uh have a constant speed and uh, have a manage a constant magnitude so about magnitude here you need to as i said do a few calculation and as right here the object is also rejected because the magnitude fluctuates by more than one so for all the frame you will see an object if you click on the the object will uh, you will see the object dashboard here so on the dashboard just look at this value v is designed as a magnitude so this uh, the value of this my this the magnitude of this object here is 21.0 so in the second case you see here 20.7 so if you 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 add or uh, you you make your calculation you will do this 21.0 minus 20 20.7 the difference between these two values are uh, the difference is uh, more than one so this object have not a constant magnitude so you need to you do not need to report this object as a true signature this is a false signature so to not care about this so on the second case too you will see 
the value of uh, magnitude is uh, some is here 21.2 and uh, here 20.7 so as uh, the the fourth the fourth thing you need to to know or to care about when clicking an object uh, an object you will on the dashboard you need to uh, care about the saturation of the image so in certain case this is you will see here all the, the white dots as I said above here just properly align along with the red line here you see the the white dot align along the red line so this is saturation from a bright star never measure and report saturation object so if you see something like that which is very 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 clear like that please just know that this is a false signature do not report as a true signature so uh, this is practice this is practice and we will see it together and the uh, measurement value yes do not worry about this if you do not uh, know how to proceed we will i will show it together but uh before move on the next document i i want you to know something if you register as uh, as a team for a asteroid research campaign your team will have a name surely and uh, you need to have a a code for your team so for example if uh you for the detection when you make a detection you need to name the detection after the, your team name so you need to have a code for your team so the code team name it is for every team or each team around the world who participated oh so the the code is uh the name of the code of the name of your team name which you need to insert here when you make a discovery of a new object is uh must consist of three letter and four number so as example here Harding's Simons university might answer uh, names as here hsu0001 for the first discovery hsu002 for the second discovery so if you have your team please care about to as i i am talking now to the team leader to please care about to have a a, a name or a code name designation for when you will which you will give to any object you you will detect during your campaign so your your name or your code will must include of must consist of three letter and four number so for example in our case of space lover you can uh, have something as spl maybe 001 0001 or spl 000 0050 and the, if you have a first discovery it will be spl 0050 and the second will be 00551 so on and so forth so your your code or your team name must will be registered uh, will be known by Isaac and all discovery you will made will be set for your team and uh, you will have so after the campaign you will be designated as the discoverer of these objects. So here is the after talk about the first signature we will see now the example of true signature. So what you need to know that is that the image is the image of sky so take by pan star telescope 1.8 meters a uh, telescope in hawaii so it is a pan star telescope but the the this telescope take image of the ecliptic which uh, where are located uh, the most of uh, asteroids in the, uh, the the main asteroid belt and the trans-Neptunian belt so the aster the asteroids are not have not a a right or a full size there is different size of asteroid so you can see here very small and uh, I want what here we can say it as a very great asteroid so they can vary in shape size and brightness so you do not need to care about the shape size and brightness of the, uh, the object is the if the object fits the all characteristics we set above please report this object as a true signature the asteroid will be moving on a straight line with constant speed and magnitude will not change greatly. The edge will be rounded and the object will be darker at the center. So it is just what you need to care about. So the shape or size or brightness of 
the object it is not it is not your concern please focus on your vicarity stick if they are okay please re report this as a true signature so now the third document is uh, submitting mpc reports here so after analyzing each image set you need to submit the mpc report for every image set so one by one do not put together uh, the report of your the all image set you analyze so it will be one by one so here as on here on astrometrica here you can see on file you can see view mpc report which is not activate but after analyzing after load image and make analyze you can see here view mpc report so you need to click on this copy the report which will appear which will appear copy the report and uh, go on the on your dashboard on the uh, isaac website just paste the report and uh, select the image sets of uh, which correspond to this report select the name of citizen sensing who analyze this report and uh, just click on submit button so i will come back on these and uh, uh let more let you know more about this after analyzing our first uh, image set together so now it is uh, what you need to know about the isaac the astrometrica software uh, the campaign the image set the team uh, and uh, now you are ready to really really start your work as a citizen sciences so in this uh, in this training video session in the next we will see together how to analyze your first image and make a fair fairly report and um,